Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am releasing two videos. I had to skip out on last week. So this is the second video I'm releasing today. So I hope you watched my first video. If you haven't, then I'll leave a link down below for it. Um, so in this video, we are, Becky and I are going to use epoxy stickers, shapes and sequins. So the only epoxy stickers I have are these ones from Illustrated Faith Basics and they are little hexagon shapes. So um, I'm going to use this. I love the pink colors in them as well. So I love, I love everything about these, these little stickers. Then I've got these enamel shapes. So they, they technically not epoxy, but you know, they could pass for, you know, epoxy stickers. They pretty, enamel shapes from freckled fawn and as my sequence I'm going to use this um, white and clear sequence um, it's just a sequence I got from a company here called paper chase and um, yeah so I'm going to try and use all of these in a, in a layout and yeah so the shape I'm also so we have to use a specific shape as well so the shape I'm going to be using is I'm going to focus on the hexagons the shapes of the of the um, epoxy stickers that I'm using okay so I'll put you on fast forward and talk you through my process so first things first I am going to be using a plain white uh, cardstock this is not American craft textured white cardstock it's just plain white um, card cardstock there's yeah, it's, it's, it's not quite as thick as normal cardstock, but it's not as thin as copy paper. It's, <laughs> I've, um, over the past couple of months, I've bought all the uh, white cardstock, well, 12 by 12 white cardstock in Dubai. And I have to order some from, uh, from uh, scrapbook.com. And this is the only thing I could find. So I had to make do with, with this white cardstock. Um, so as I said the shape I'm going to be using um, is those hexagon shapes and then those little teardrop geometric teardrop shapes on the left hand side of the screen and um, we're supposed to be using shapes so that's going to be my shapes and my uh, the fact that I'm using the epoxy stickers now I wanted to splash some color onto my white cardstock so I'm using uh, my um, Oh, Heidi Swap Color Shine, excuse me, had a brain wobble. Heidi Swap Color Shine Hot Pink, and I'm just use, um, splatting it down with the nozzle in a vertical, um, in a vertical formation. And I had to sort of uh, dry up the splats because I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I'm just layering um, some toilet paper over where I have. Um, uh, used or uh, used the color shine and gently dabbing it up now I don't have a, a big kitchen roll that um, I can roll over like Missy does it with a big kitchen roll Missy Wooden but I just did that and it really works so um, I I think it, it looks quite nice it, it takes some of that um, dark dark pink away and it just adds you know the the the, the brighter lighter pink so the photo that I'm going to be using is of Lucy's little feet, her footsies, and those were taken when she was two weeks old. So the whole layout is going to be very simplistic. Um, I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to make everything in a sort of a vertical, um, uh, not vertical pattern, but a vertical composition. There you go. So I wanted to pop up the photo on some foam. So I'm just using my um, double-sided foam adhesive here. And I'm so glad I've still got a lot on that roll because I use it on the back of my photos and um, I, because it's uh, acid-free. So it won't get all messed up. So first I put this uh, little hexagon um, on the photo and that one says, here I am, send me. And uh, that one with the pelican, no, not a flamingo, sorry, says stand firm. And it's all, 
I thought it was cute because it's all sort of to do with feet, you know. Here I am, send me, you know, I will walk wherever you want me to walk. And stand firm means, you know, you stand on your feet. So I thought to myself that this is brilliant because the photos of two little feet. So this is basically my prayer for Lucy, that she will stand firm in what God has planned for her in her life and that she will um, that she will go where he sends her. So I'm going to be removing that little uh, epoxy sticker from the photo. I'm going to be placing it next to the photo on the right hand side of the photo. Um, yeah, it just didn't work for me on top of the photo. I'm going to put something else on top of the photo later on. So watch till the end and then you can see <laughs> what I do. But as for now, I am just going to be um, sticking that sticker to the right of the photo. And there you go. And I'm glad it came off pretty nicely. These epoxy stickers are very sticky. And kudos to Bella Boulevard. They are fantastically sticky. Sometimes these epoxy stickers aren't really sticky and they sort of curl up and curl over. And But these things are amazing. So I'm very happy with that. I'm also going to be using some of the... Is that Take Me Away or Turn the Page? I think that's Take Me Away. I don't, well, yeah, the one of Paige Evans sticker books. I'm just going to be using that butterfly. And it's sort of like a a see-through sort of butterfly so you can still see the splats of the Heidi Swap color shine behind that little butterfly the pink butterfly so I'm using some adhesive dots and these are clear dots to stick my sequins to the layout I'm also just going to be scattering them vertically along the photo and um, I'm using a uh, yeah, the reason why I'm using these clear dots is because uh, I found that my clear uh, liquid glue um, it doesn't it doesn't work. Uh, it, it it the the sequence stays there for a little bit and then in a couple of weeks it just falls off. So I've actually had to go back to some of my older layouts and um, stick the sequence on with some clear dots. So I'm learning I'm learning people. So some of the sequence are little flower shapes, some are round, and some are little shell shapes shell shapes <laughs> there you go and uh yes yeah, so i'm just going to be sticking them around and i like the fact that they sort of uh, flu not fluorescent iridescent yes but they're very iridescent and um they sort of change color depending on which way you look at them so um this is as i said this is going to be a very very um plain layout very easy layout now what happened is is that my camera ran out of battery so halfway through this layout i think at about this point um i had to stop filming so i came back in the next day and my plan was to you know do a lot more embellishing and to stick a lot more stuff on and then when i came back the next day i saw this this is now the next day i saw this and i loved the simplicity the fact that the photo is the center of the attention, the little feet is, you know, the, the feet are the center of attention. And then your eye gets drawn outwards and then you see the little words on the hexagons and you see the sequence and you see the splat. So I really wanted to keep it that way. And I, for a moment, I thought, should I do a squiggly border around the layout? And then I thought, no, because this is such a simplistic layout and I didn't want it to feel boxed in or... You know, because it almost feels like the feet are floating. So I kept it like that. And um, I that that little hexagon on the right-hand side of the photo is a little, teeny tiny bit skew, a little bit skew. But, you know, I tried to take it off, but it was super sticky, so I just left it. I'm also going to use one of these little paper clips. It's a little bow paper clip from Bella Boulevard. And I'm just going to be sticking it at the top right-hand corner of my photo. And then another little Bella Boulevard uh, element I am going to be using is one of the acrylic words. And um, yeah, you can see that my mind is turning. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Am I going to, you know, put something new on there? And then I decided I'm going to use this word new. Now, it's part of another, it's like part of a, like a, a phrase, but I used the other word already on a layout. And I just had this, and it's perfect, new, because her feet are new. She's new. <laughs> So this is it for my layout this week. Please check out Becky's layout. She's got a gorgeous layout waiting for you guys. And um, I'll see you again next week. Have a great week. Bye.